Now, how to draw the more circles? Just follow the procedures as per the drawing. First, draw the reference line. Y axis and X axis. Then point O L point O L thirty five centimeter. Then point O M fifteen centimeter. Then draw the vertical line from L downwards nine centimeter. Nine centimeter. Then from M draw vertical line upwards nine centimeter. Then join S and T. Join. Yes and T. Join yes and T. Then from N draw the circle. From N draw. Join yes and T. From N draw the circle. From N draw the circle. So from the uh, diameter S and T, draw an angle 80 degree. Draw the line 80 degree from N. So 80 degree T N P equal to 80 degree. Then draw perpendicular line from P to Q. P to Q. That is the shear stress of this motion. Then join the line OP. Join the line OP. Join the line OP. That is known as tangential. Stress. Draw OP. That is the tangential stress. Now come to the conclusions. Then from this diagram, we can able to find out the normal stress is OQ. Normal stress is OQ. Normal stress is OQ. Then tangential stress is PQ. Tangential stress is PQ. I mean shear stress is PQ. Tangential stress is OP. Tangential stress is OP. These are the three results. To be evaluated from this diagram. Just to watch this drawing carefully, you can draw easily the Mohr circle diagram very easily. So this one is both are in tensile nature. Next we will see the one tensile and one compressive stress. Mm. So the question is typed here. Then pre-drawn diagram in the left side. Then current diagram in the right side. So follow the procedure for all the all type of drawings. This question belongs to finding principal stress and the position of the principal plane. So the given data is sigma x and sigma y, as well as shear stress thumb. Sigma x five mega pascal, sigma y three fifty mega pascal, compressive nature, and then shear stress hundred mega pascal. So we have to find out the principal stress and position of the principal plane, as well as maximum shear stress. Now follow the procedures. First, draw the reference line. 
x-axis and the y-axis x and the y-axis x and the y-axis so that intersection point is O axis point intersection point is O from O draw the line OL draw the line OL from O draw the line OL 50 centimeter actually this is scale factors 500 mega Pascal 1 centimeter equal to 10 mega Pascal so that 50 centimeter OL right side direction because it is 10 side then left side O M 35 centimeter 35 centimeter from L and M draw the perpendicular lines draw the perpendicular lines for 10 centimeter both side 10 centimeter then join the two ends Two ends and the intersecting point n we will get the intersecting point here and from the center draw the circle draw the circle then from n draw the perpendicular line draw the perpendicular line meet the circle at the is it okay then we come to the conclusions this is the drawing then we have to measure the distance then measure the distance n and z n and z is the maximum shear stress n and z is the Maximum stress stress 43.66. Actually, this is 436.6 mega Pascal. Then measure the distance O V. Measure the distance O V. So we will get 51.16. Actually, this measurement is 5. 11 511.6 mega pascal maximum tensile stress then measure the distance go u measure the distance go u so this is 30 uh, 361.6 this is minimum uh, tensile stress I mean compressive stress principal stress actually this one is principal stress 361.6 but as per measurement 36.16 we are getting ok then measure the angle measure the angle T N L T N L angle is 2 theta 13 degree 2 theta so we have to substitute theta equal to 6.5 degree so this is the drawing for finding the uh, maximum and the minimum principal stresses as well as the position of the principal plane principal plane at 13 degree I mean 6.5 degree position uh, position of the principal plane this is the drawing procedure for the most circle for finding the principal stresses ok next we will see the next problem mm. this question says belongs to without shear stress we have to draw the Mohr circle find the normal stress tangential stress and the shear stress to be found out 
So in this case, a point is subjected to a perpendicular stresses, both are tensile nature, 50 MPa and 30 MPa, and we calculate the normal tangential resultant stresses, oblique angle 30 degree. First, draw the reference line x and y axis from O, from O, draw the line O. L OL fifty centimeter and draw OM thirty centimeter draw OM thirty centimeter from M and L find the midpoint that is N. So from O it will be forty centimeter distance. It will be 40 cm distance. N is the center, center of the circle. Draw the circle. Draw the circle. It will meet at L and M. L and M. It will meet at L and M. So, Mn is the diameter of the circle. From L and N line, N is the center, draw the angle LNP 120 degree. LNP 120 degree. 120 degree. 120 degree, it will meet the circle at P. At P. From P, draw the vertical line, draw the vertical line, meet the horizontal line, line at Q. Now we will come to the conclusions, only just we have to measure the distance, okay. Then join OP, join OP, measure the distance, OP that is known as tangential stress that is known as tangential stress so we are getting 36 mm. so measure the distance op that is known as normal OP, normal tangential stress, then OQ, OQ, OQ is known as, uh, sorry, OQ is known as normal uh, stress, OP is known as tangential stress, tangential stress, and the shear stress PQ is known as shear stress. Then angle oblique angle to be find out, that oblique angle is uh, 13 degree, I mean 14 degree, you will get 14 degree, that is the oblique angle. So, I have to draw the oblique angle. Then measure the angle, get the readings. This is the method of drawing more circle. So, this drawing is based on without shear stress, only tensile stress are based on more circle drawing. So, suppose if one is tensile, other one is as a compressive means, so you have to draw the one, one is uh, left side, other one is right side. Same method we have to follow to complete the drives. Okay, thank you.